Hello and welcome to my video explaining um, this code that I've made. Um, I have named it Pokemon Simulator um, and as the title says it is a simulation of the popular game um, Pokemon. So yeah, when we start it you can obviously see that there is background music. So you can choose a Pokemon and you just click any of the arrow keys. Um, to pick whatever Pokemon you want. There is also a secret that if you press P, you get a Pikachu. Uh, so I'll go ahead, and there we go, chose Bulbasaur. Then it just explains the rules, so we've got here the rules of the game, um, and if you press the arrow keys, you can go ahead and look at the rest of the, the rules. So here's the controls, how to play, um, and here's some tips just explaining uh, how to play the game. When you press S, you exit, so let's, yeah, there we go, um, and now yeah, you can walk around by using any of the arrow keys um, and you can run by holding space and there's a little uh, saying press R for rules so if you want to look at the rules you can always look at them again just in case you forget. So the main part of this game is battling and when you go ahead and you walk around in the grass uh, it's a 11% chance of encountering a Pokemon. Um, so I've got four options I can fight so yeah there we go. Um, yeah, when you fight, you can. There's a selection of different attacks that you can do. If you go back, um, here's Pokemon. So this will show how many Pokemon you actually have in your party. At the moment, I have none because I haven't caught any Pokemon. But if I go into my bag, um, I've got a Pokeball. I've got five. So you start off with five Pokeballs, and you can uh, use them if you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do another tackle. Uh, the lower the health, the uh, more chance you get to catch a Pokemon. And there we go, we've caught uh, a Squirtle. So that's been added to our Pokedex, which is great. And I'll just go ahead and show you the Pokemon. So this is the Pokemon. I added in boundaries so you can't walk over any of the um, stalls or anything. And then you can also talk by pressing D. Um, welcome to the Pokemon. Would you like to buy? And you can say yes or no. And it said yes, so so a Pokeball, um, just a normal Pokeball, a Great Ball um, has a better chance than a Pokeball, and an Ultra Ball has a better chance than a Great Ball, a Master Ball has a 100% catch rate. Lucky Egg basically um, increases the amount of levels that you get once you defeat a Pokemon, and an Amulet Coin just increases the amount of money you get when you win a battle, so yeah, you can uh, basically you can buy as many as you want, so you can go boom, bought four. Um, you can go back by pressing S. Uh, yeah, and I'll show you the Poke Center. So here's the Poke Center. Um, you talk to Nurse Joy, and you can heal your Pokemon. Okay. Yep. Cool. And they should be healed. You can check your Pokemon by pressing W. So there we go. We got. There we go. I'll just show you what happens when you uh, complete the Pokédex. There we go, finally, okay, there we go. So I can check my Pokémon again by pressing W. Um, as you can see, we've got my Squirtles on 0 HP, my Charmander is on 8, and my Bulbasaur was on 9, so I should probably go back to the Poké Center. And now we've just got one more Pokemon to catch. Oh, there we go. So now we've got a Pikachu. And once I catch this, I should have all Pokemon, um, all Pokemon to complete the Pokedex. So it should go to the screen. There we go. Uh, completed the Pokedex. And yeah, you're now a Pokemon Master and you've unlocked free play. So. Yeah, there you go, that's what happens after you complete the Pokédex, you basically complete the game, um, and that's the whole aim of the game. And then once you're finished with this, you can go ahead and play whatever you would like to after that. So now I'll go through the code. These are all of the images I used, all the graphics, 
and then these are the sprites for the items these are the sprites for the Pokemon and these are just some other things as well these are some of the sound effects and these are a bunch of variables um, for the game and I made a, a class um, called Pokemon and these are the stats this is one of the main things is screen check um, basically it's for the battling and it just checks which screen you're on if you're on the move screen battle screen bag pokemon um or whatever um it basically runs through this whole thing here's the catching method that i made so if you want to go catch a pokemon this is uh, what it does and here's the damage calculation method that i made um basically just calculates the damage taken um and damage dealt to a pokemon well, the fighting method so this is the main loop when battling. Here's all the functions. Here's the HP animation. So when the when the bar is, goes down and, and the HP bar goes down, the health bar, um, in the battle, uh, I made a different function. I made a separate function for that. The screen print function. This is to print text onto the window. And then keys input menu. This is one of the main things that I use to get input from the user. Um, and as you can see here, pycam.key.get pressed um, basically just takes an input and checks what sort of input it gets. The redraw game window is very helpful. This is the animation used where you see the character, the character moving around with your with the keys. Uh, Poke Center Run, this is the loop to run while the character is in the Pokemon Center. Pokemart, so this is the Pokemart loop. Um, same thing. Um, all of the boundaries which took a long time um, trying to figure out where everything was so this is the rules so whenever the player presses R in the main map the rules screen will open and this is basically just the loop this is the function for when you complete the pokedex and just shows the screen of completing the pokedex um, until you press S and then these are the the pokemons we got so this is the start up and the opening screen and this is when you select the pokemons and this is the main loop so just walking around these are all the boundaries yeah so we have a list here and then we have a uh, random number generated then basically it chooses a pokemon out of that list um at the same number um or the same index as that random number then once it has that pokemon it creates the new object of that pokemon um <clears throat> and then that becomes the pokemon that you fight and that's basically all my code so yeah, a lot of the graphics um, I edited on Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, there are a lot of different um, things here. So a lot of the sound effects and a lot of the music tracks, they're not from me either, but I did edit them on iMovie to cut some of them short to loop them um, and to just lower the volume and stuff like that. Yeah, so here's a screenshot of my um, Photoshop editing when I was editing the Pokemon map and here's another screenshot so I was putting them all together trying to map out where everything would go here's, here's one of the screenshots from me editing um, the big sprite sheet that I had um, downloaded offline and um, as you can see I had to go and crop each and every single one of the sprites for when uh, it was walking here's a screenshot of um, the NPC um, I had to do that for all of them and all of his walking sprites as well uh, so yeah here's here's an example of one of the graphics that i had to make so i cropped uh this out and had to edit this on on adobe photoshop um and here is obviously one of the sprites i also had to resize every image um as well so i've got all of the images on here all of the different um sprites that i made part of the battle screen that i made um that I also had to do um, as you can see there was a lot of um, editing that went on with it um, separate elements and things that I had to um, do um, so yeah here's an example of um, something that I did on, Ill on Illustrator so I got this um, sprite sheet online um, cropped out this menu here <clears throat> this is what I used for creating the opening screen the rule screens the controls and uh, tips and pokedex um, one so I made all of these graphics myself I wrote all of this stuff myself as well but took screenshots to make sure that people knew what they were doing um, here's a lot of the screens that I made so here's the, the battle screen um, the Poke, Poke Center and the Pokemart um, 
edited those as well. I used these um, from here. I transferred these images over to here so that it would resize the image to that um, whatever that size was to make it the same proportion for the screen um, in the game. As you can see, there's a lot more um, stuff in here. So this is the pointer, this is the, the tiles, this is the focus center, the background. Um, sprite sheets, more sprite sheets of all the Pokemon. Um, a l there's just a butt ton of stuff that um, yeah went into making a lot of the graphics. Um, unfortunately, I just got back here and um, the file corrupted. So a lot of the things are out of place. But as you can see, I did um, make all of these um, tiles individually. Um, each of these tiles are all separate and individual. This is also a separate thing. This is also a separate thing. Um, I also put in the the character just to see the proportions and how big I needed to make it. Um, but yeah, each of these tiles um, I just cut out of an image. Yeah, so I actually got the tiles from this image here. Um, from Google and basically just inserted them here to make my own map um, and then I got the buildings from another image as well I just cut out um, basically the images from here um, so yeah there was a lot that went into creating um, the graphics of this game which was really really fun and I really enjoyed it and here's just a lot of planning that I did on, an, on a separate dock um, that I used as well there was a lot that went on this is just a lot of documentation that I made in my own time um, and here's the Pokemon uh, type matchup so you can actually just reference this and here's my assessment um, so I uploaded a folder and a zip file um, and I'll upload this link soon um, and here's the research that I did um, um, and here's some battle mechanics that I wrote up as well uh, there's a lot that goes into battling, um, type matchups, stats as I talked about, critical hits, um, moves and moves power and PP, um, the damage calculations, um, and this is the catching mechanics, um, the catch rate and stuff like that, so we went through all that um, and all the testing. And so yeah, there is a lot that goes into this game um, as I've researched it um, and as I've played it for a long time. Um, it is a very, uh, it looks very simple on the outside, but there is a lot that goes into it. Um, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I really enjoyed making this uh, game, making this code. Um, it was lots and lots of fun, um, and I hope to do it again.